Bobby Quillen Memorial Field behind the gate, moving up. Here they come. They're off. There goes Foiled again, and Mr. Big out for that lead. Blue Ridge Western between those two. That's four Trumps who gets away in fourth, followed by one the West in fifth. Racing in sixth on that first turn is McSeedy's and the early trailers, Lucky Man and B.B. Torrio. They go to the back stretch, and Mr. Big is up to get the lead briefly, foiled again back to the outside to take it. Mr. Big is back in second. Two lengths to Blue Ridge Western, who got away in third. Four Trumps is there, fourth a length and a half in front of one the West. Opening quarter, 27-3. and three. They race into the far turn. It's foiled again with the lead a length and a half. Mr. Big got away in second, followed by... Blue Ridge Western, four trumps, is racing in fourth. Moving to the outside, one the west. McSeedy's follows one the west. Then it's Lucky Man and B.B. Torrio trails the field as they come over toward the half. And the leader is foiled again. The lead is a length and a half. Mr. Big sitting in second on the outside. Here's one the west up to challenge for the lead at the half in 57 and four. An easy half for these as they race into that turn the second time. It's foiled again with one the west right alongside. Mr. Big sits in the two hole, covered up. McSeedy's in fourth, down inside. That's Blue Ridge Western alongside Lucky Man in sixth, and it's four Trumps and B.B. Torrio. They race midway up the back stretch, foiled again by just ahead. One the west is right alongside, then it's Mr. Big. McSeedy's on the outside. With the rail, that's Blue Ridge Western with Lucky Man on the outside. 126 flat, they race on the final turn. Foiled again and won the West are right together. McSeedy's on the outside. Mr. Big has the rail in fourth. They come to the top of the stretch. They turn for home. Foiled again. Has the lead now by a length and a half. Foiled again. Won the West on the outside. Still coming. Foiled again. Won the West on the outside. Here's the wire. Won the West. Gets up. 52 and 4. A correction. The Superfecta. 5143. Returning to the winner's circle is 5 1 the West. Five year old Bay Gelling by Western Hanover, owned by Strollin Stable, Bill Robinson, and James Kohler. Trained by Ron Burke, driven to victory by Dave Miller. 152 and 4 fifths, final quarter 26 and 4 fifths. He did it first over. Driving double for Dave Miller in the winner's circle. Secretary of Finance, State of Delaware, Tom Cook. Our race secretary, Mick Myers. State representatives, Biff Lee, Bill Carson, Brad Bennett, Dan Short, Bobby Outen, Ruth Briggs King, Senators Joe Booth and Senator Gary Simpson, along with the mayor of Harrington, Gene Price, our county commissioner, Tim Sheldon, from the levy court, Harold Brody and Dick Ennis, our state treasurer, Tom Wagner, and members of the Harrington board, Bill Chazanoff, Gene Baird, Ann Minner, and Ron Draper. Biggest races. This is our signature event, the Bobby Quillen. Your first Bobby Quillen. How does it feel? Oh, it, it's a great, great feeling, great honor to uh, to win this race. Well, Dave, tell us about one the West. You've driven him several times over the course of the year. These free for all pacers are so close in ability between the likes of Foiled again, Mr. Big, of course, your horse, and many others. How important was the trip tonight? And what were your thoughts going into the race? Well, going into the race, I, I thought we was racing for second. You know, Foiled Again's got the rail, and uh, I figured he'd just dictate the pace and uh, have his own way and uh, be hard to beat. <clears throat> um, my horse, you know, he, he's a grinder, and he, he can take the air, but I still didn't think I could beat Foiled Again. Um, I knew when I, was, when I kept up with him in the last turn, I, I figured I'd have a pretty good shot at catching him in. Tell us about your elimination last week. Of course, when you earned your berth for this week, you finished second. The horse looked like he was uh, maybe going to be a laboring third in the stretch, but he came back on for second and raced well. How did that play into your role for tonight, if at all? And, and, and how did he feel tonight going into the deep stretch? Well, last week, you know, we, we uh, had to be fourth to make the final, and uh, he got caught first over again. And, and uh, like I said, he does he kind of works kind of really hard in the turn, so... Uh, he, he may have lost a, uh, you know, a length or so in the turn, but he makes it up to the stretch. So tonight, you know, I was hoping, uh, I was hoping uh, for a little bit of a speed duel, maybe to soften him up a little bit. But, uh, you know, I guess when the fraction came up so cheap to the half, I, I didn't know what to expect. But I knew going into the last turn, uh, when I kept up with Field again, I, I figured I'd get by him in.
Well, Dave, on behalf of Harrington Raceway, we want to congratulate you. The owners of Won the West and also trainer Ron Burke, who we understand is in the Bahamas, hopefully watching this in the Caribbean somewhere. We'll send it back up to Jack.